A reverse Marcus gun pupil is really a misnomer. I would have never called it that, but let me explain to you what a reverse Marcus gun pupil is. What it means is that you're doing a swinging flashlight test to check for an afferent pupillary defect with only one reactive pupil. So, for instance, let's say the patient has a non-reactive pupil either because they're on a meiotic or a mitriatic or a cycloplegic or they've had a trauma and their pupil's non-reactive. For whatever reason, their pupil's non-reactive, only one pupil. You can still do a swinging flashlight test when they only have one reactive pupil. So let's think about this for a minute. Let's say that this pupil is non-reactive for whatever reason and this eye has a sick optic nerve. It has an afferent pupillary defect, but we don't know that yet. Let's do a swinging flashlight test. We shine the light in this pupil. The pupil's gonna do nothing because it's non-reactive. We shine the light in this pupil. You're gonna see brisk constriction. That is my clue that this eye has an APD because in the normal swinging flashlight test, if both optic nerves were healthy, even though this pupil's non-reactive, when I shine the light in this eye, this pupil should have had a consensual light response. So when I swung over to this pupil, I shouldn't have seen brisk constriction. It should have started out constricted. Because I saw brisk constriction, that is my clue that this eye has an APD. So a non-reactive pupil with an APD, you'll see nothing in this eye. You'll see brisk constriction here. Nothing, brisk constriction. That tells you this eye is a sick optic nerve. It has an afferent pupillary defect or a Marcus gun pupil. Now let's reverse that. Let's say that this is the non-reactive pupil and this eye has a Marcus gun pupil, but we don't know that yet. Let's do a swinging flashlight test. We shine the light in this eye. What's gonna happen? Nothing, the pupil's not reactive. We shine the light in this eye. We're going to see it dilate because it has an afferent pupillary defect. Nothing, dilation. Nothing, dilation on the swinging flashlight test. That tells us this eye has an afferent pupillary defect. So if you only have one reactive pupil, you can still do a swinging flashlight test and check for an afferent pupillary defect. And that is called a reverse Marcus gun pupil if you find one.